Hey guys, it's Silent Phil again, and this is part two of the tutorial on how to record Let's Plays. So, continuing on. Oh, right. Oh, and there's another thing I almost forgot. Uh, with the Audacity program, um, you need to make sure you hit record pretty much as soon as the video starts to capture. Um, or as soon as the video starts to record. You need to hit record here to start recording your voice. Alright? So, it's still... Yeah, it is actually still, uh, as you can see, recording here from last time. But I'll go ahead and stop it now. Let's just say it's like 10 minutes. So stop capture. And then it'll... Detecting scenes from video file so it's actually going to put the videos up here and it creates its own scenes but you, I think you could switch that to have it a little different there anyway so once that's done you go to edit and then those scenes will carry over all to here and what I usually do is highlight them all and then drag them all down here you see this little section with all these boxes in it just drag it to the first one and then those scenes will carry on to here now I don't really do much editing in this program I actually do that in a second program that I use so go over here to make movie now what I do, or what I use, is Windows Media, but you have all these different ones here, but I use Windows Media, and then high quality, 5.1's around, of course you have all these different ones here as well, but my speakers are 5.1's around themselves, so that's why I use that one. Anyway, after that's done, you go to create file, and uh, let's see here. And you can save it under whatever video file you want to. Let's see if we can use it. T -U -T -I -A -L. Trill. And then click OK. Alright. Then here you'll see Make Movie in Progress. And I'll show you which screens it's doing. And down here it'll show as well how far it's going. And this part usually does take a while, quite a while actually. Especially, I mean, it shouldn't take as long since I think the video was only like, what, three minutes? But, um, of course, with 10, 11 minutes, it'll take quite a while longer. So anyway, while that's going, um, let me pull up the second program I used, which is Windows Movie Maker. Okay, a lot of you uh, probably know about this program here. So, after that's pulled up, after this is um, done, then you'll uh, pull up the f video file in Windows Movie Maker. Oh, and also, back with Audacity, as soon as you're done recording, of course you would hit stop and then you would go to file make sure you get up here file and then uh, you would export as an mp3 probably can't really see it that well since it's kind of faded because I haven't recorded anything but you would export as an mp3 and then it would start uh, converting your narration file into an mp3 and you can save it to whatever, I usually save it to my desktop because it's easiest to find it that way since after I upload the videos and stuff I usually delete them anyway so then you can close out Audacity oh I just dropped a game of course oh and this one I actually just got today in the mail as well uh, Parasite Eve for the Playstation I haven't even played it but I heard it's a really good game so we'll see anyway 
So it is still going. It is about halfway through. <laughs> Which I'll actually probably just uh, continue this video after it's done. So be back in a sec. Okay. All right. So after it's done recording, the screen will go black, and this will say "Make Movie Complete." So you can actually go ahead and yeah, it's my mouse. There you go. Um, exit all this. and save changes to my movies. Usually I do save it um, in here, but since this, this is just a tutorial, you know, it's really no bother, bother to do that. Anyway, once that's done, you'd go over here to File in Windows Movie Maker, go Import into Collections, and I think it's saved to my desktop. Yeah, tutorial. And then you just have to wait for this to come up. But you'll be doing this with your video file and your uh, narration file as well. Which I'll probably have to uh, maybe just import a song or something like that that I already have on my desktop since I actually didn't record a narration. But anyway, so after that, these will come up. And of course, the uh, Windows. I don't remember what. <laughs> actually, don't remember what. Um, I had saved the file under from the other program, but this is the reason why I save it under that certain uh, file extension, so it could be compatible with Windows Movie Maker. Anyway, so after that, just highlight it all, and then drag them all down here to the bottom All right. you'll see the video, audio, all that and then you'd go back up here to file import into collections and I'll just I don't know I'll just use a music file, I guess. Okay, but just act like this is your narration file, the one you use to record your voice, and then you'd put that down there. And then you would actually have to line it up, since it is two separate files, you will have to line it up with your video file to make sure that you're saying the correct things. Because you don't want it to be like, ah, oh, he just hit me, and then a second later the monster actually hits you. You'll have to line it up pretty well. That's what I usually have to do every time. So, uh, anyway, after that's done, after everything is on here, edited, because um, this is where I do do all my editing, I can either uh, cut stuff out, um, which I normally don't do, but anyway, after that's done, then I go back up here to File, and then Save Movie File and it probably just froze on me usually whenever that shows up like that that's what usually happens and I think it did yeah these programs are really buggy that's what I hate about it but you know it gets the job done whenever it does work so I'll be back once I get it working again alright so yeah okay so once you get it working um, uh, you save movie file and then my computer you click next and then uh, enter a name for your saved movie I'll do SP tutorial okay and here you choose the place to save your movie to which like I said I use my desktop because it's easiest to find it that way you know, browse it, whatever. Click next. And then best fit to size. Now, this is where the compression comes in. Um, usually, with the 11 minute video, it's usually like 160 uh, megabytes. 
Now you could leave it like that, quality will stay good, but um, it usually takes forever for it to save and to upload onto YouTube. So I always uh, click down, usually to 50 to 60 megabytes, which since this video is so short anyway, I went ahead and I'll just leave it at 64. Um, then you click next, and then you'll just wait for the movie to save, which, yet again, I will be back once this is done.